Yo, what is going on guys? It's Crypto TMZ back with a brand new video. We're going to be talking about the wet Bentley setup that I use for the Nürburgring race. Um, hopefully it's going to be something that you guys can use. As you can see, this is footage from the race we actually had um, yesterday, but the problem was being is that it, you know, it dried up pretty quick and because it is random sort of conditions, it's not sort of a straightforward answer to what you're going to be able to use. Um, but I will give you the setups that I did have and all the sort of um, different, you know, strategies I went with to kind of make sure I sort of cover myself for every aspect of the race that could possibly happen, even though I still ended up getting it wrong. But um, yeah, let's dive into the setup, guys. I hope you do enjoy the video and I hope this is a big help for you guys. I'm not going to do so much of a hot lap video this time because it just wouldn't be applicable for everyone's situation because the conditions are kind of set to random so you know nothing's gonna be dead on exactly the same but i will give you the setup that i use so anyway let's get stuck into the video guys this was the heavy rain setup that i had you can see the tire pressures are quite a bit higher um also i always go down in the camber when the rain's heavy um you want your wet tires to last and you want more of the actual tire surface to be touching the track which is going to give you a little bit more stability um and I just find that it's just a little a little easier to uh, fill the back end of the car. Um, other than that, you can sort of, you know, when you just touch a curb, when you've got more camber on the rear, it tends to bin you. You could probably even go lower than this, but for me, this was okay for the Bentley. Um, I actually put the, the toe on the, um, on the rear. I actually m uh, made the toe negative because the Bentley really struggles with rotation, especially in the slow corner. So, um... I went negative on the rear toe, helped the car turn a little bit more. Now, for me, um, depending on how heavy the rain is, it's kind of paramount um, being able to run sort of a lower traction control setting because it doesn't bog the car down as much with the Bentley traction control system being so intrusive. It does tend to cut your power quite a lot and you kind of have to, you know, take the little risk. But uh, if it was a little bit wetter, I actually did have it on five. So you probably would want to go 5-5 five, five if the conditions were, you know, a little bit more wetter than what they are right now. Even though the cloud level is going completely dry now, but it is, it's wet, okay? <laughs> but yeah, 5-5 five, five or 4-4 four, four if the track conditions are a little bit drier. Um, now fuel, because it was an hour and a half race, what I did was is I just completely stacked the car full of fuel. I knew at some stage the track would begin to dry up a little bit so i wanted to have enough fuel to be able to get to that part of the race but obviously with 40 cars being on track with the track temperature changing so quickly the race ended up drying a lot quicker than that so um yeah that's something you might have to bear in mind you have to weigh it up if i if i would have known it was going to dry within half an hour i just would have took half the amount of fuel and being a lot quicker in the first stint um but i mean you can't preempt the weather it's best to just have all bases covered so that's what I did. Um, using actually two two on the on the brakes. Now, obviously, if the the weather is much heavier, if it's much more rain, then you can go up to three three on the on the brakes. But for me, two two it covers it again, covers both bases. If it stays wet, it's okay. If it goes dry, you're still okay. So um, we use that uh, mechanical grip. As you can see, I made the front of the car soft. I don't even know why i've obviously made a mistake here because they should be the same <laughs> on both sides but i made the front of the car soft i put the bump stop range up so i could take a little bit more of the curbs without unsettling the car um again we made the front anti-roll bar stiff because we needed more turning in the slow corners um anti-roll bar on the rear quite low we didn't want too much wheel spin coming out in the corners that's why the preload is pretty low as well and we didn't want that sort of on throttle understeer because, as I said, the Bentley has enough understeer as it is already. Um, the dampers were pretty soft. And we've gone max wing. Now, if the rain is too heavy, you sort of want to, with the Bentley, like, you know, the front end needs to be quite low to get that turn in. But I get it. If your track's flooded or whatever, you may need to, you know, keep going higher and higher. But you sort of want to run it as low as you can get away with literally as low as you can get away with the front right height for the bentley because again of how bad it understeers in the rain um we've gone with 10 wing on the rear and 77 on the rear ride height and i felt like the car felt pretty safe man i'm not gonna lie it felt pretty safe 
Um, this was my heavy rain setup. As I said, if it's like in completely flooded conditions, maybe you want to go up to 57. Um, but I, I, I don't know. I wouldn't go any higher than that, man, because it's just, yeah, the car just doesn't turn, man. The car just doesn't turn. And that was the, you know, that was the heavy rain setups that we had on, on PC. Um, I, I tend to mess around a little bit with the caster angle. I tend to actually make, sometimes make the caster angle heavier in the rain. It just gives me more feeling behind the wheel. But again, if it does dry up, then, you know, your wheel is going to become very heavy um, in some of the corners, especially the slow corners, which can be a little bit tough. Um, but anyway, let's load up the light rain setup, which is pretty much exactly the same. But you can see we've, we've changed the tire pressures here. Um, 4-4 on the TC and ABS again. So it was pretty much the same strategy. Um, exactly the same strategy. But just, um, we've adjusted the tire pressures. Um, this actually had 56 on the right eye, which should have been 55. And the light rain should be 55. And the heavy rain should be 56, I believe. That was pretty much the change that we made. Um... But yeah, as you can see, all the adjustments there. I think that was it. I did a oh AOR quality wet. And this is the quality setup. Um, again, tire pressures were adjusted. They did actually start drying in quality. We were taking about twelve liters of fuel. I actually put the steering ratio down even more. Um, everything pretty much the same. We actually went down. All the way on the front ride height and up on the rear ride height now my car was a little oversteery so i would say probably leave the front ride height on 55 and maybe go up on the rear by one click and if of course because our, our quality wasn't it wasn't crazy wet okay it wasn't super wet so i could get away with running sort of low on the front end um that's probably why i struggled so much when i touched the curbs so if I was you guys, I'd probably go again. You know, if it's completely flooded, I would say 57. Try 57, 78. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to go any higher than that. But if you, of course, if it's completely a washout, then of course, go as high as, you know, as high as you need to. But just bear in mind, you're going to have tons and tons of understeer, man. So, um, yeah, this is pretty much the setup that I use. Again, brake bias, 57 all the way to the rear. That's just, that's just a given for the Bentley in those conditions. And if the race does get drier, as it gets drier, you're going to have to start adjusting your brake bias more towards the front as the race goes on. Because the less and less that your the track is wet, the more unstable the car gets when you hit the brakes for some reason. So um, you're going to have to bear that in mind when you're, you know, if the, if the race is about to dry up, you're going to have to bear that in mind. But well, unfortunately, man, um, this is a setup that definitely works for the wet, but is not so good in the dry. So um, it's one of them balancing acts where you're going to have to sort of figure out what you want to do. But for me personally, I felt like I would rather be, you know, maybe six, seven temps a lap slower in the dry than be two and a half seconds off in the wet. Because obviously, you know, the, the wet weather is where you're going to lose most of your time. So um, it's best to just, you know, Kind of count your losses. This is one for us Bentley users where we're going to have to take it on the chin. The Bentley's just not a quick car in the rain. So you kind of just have to make the best out of a bad situation. But anyway, guys, hey, hit the notification bell to catch my videos first. And peace. Don't you miss